All right, in this video, we are going to talk about the Elements tab of Google Developer Tools. Using the Elements tab, you can do a lot with HTML and CSS, changing some other website while you're in the browser. It's pretty cool. So I had a camper suggest to me to work on this page, which is Ian McKellen's actual official homepage. It could use some CSS and HTML help. Uh, we're really just going to mess around with it. Um, so one way to get to the console or to the, we're really just going to mess around with it. One way to open up the developer tools, especially when you're looking in elements, is to right click and hit inspect element. Whatever you right clicked, that's the element that it's going to inspect. So here on this left side of cascading information, it pulled up exactly all the information in the HTML. And over here, it's all the style elements that apply to it. Let's go ahead and change that awesome picture of Sir Ian McKellen to this picture of a cat in a turkey costume. So I'm just clicking here in the SRC, and I'm just going to paste my link from the other link. And suddenly, we are looking at a cat on the homepage of McKellen.com. Additionally, so say we go down here, let's make this color not be blue anymore. We're going to click Inspect Element and instead of changing over on this left cascading side, we're going to change in here. And so you can see it says background color. If I double click that, let's do AAABBB, which turns out to be this lovely light purple color. So suddenly we've changed all this kind of stuff. And we can even change text. So if I want it to say, I, I'm continuing to right click and hit inspect element. Here it says what's new. Instead, let's have it say, Free code camp is the bomb.com. There we go. And now, free code camp is the bomb.com is what that first little highlightable box says. So that's pretty cool. Um, additionally, I'm going to move everything over to the right hand side now. There's this kind of box over here that says margin, border, padding. That's a really quick and easy way to edit those specific attributes of whatever you're looking at. Um, it says margin, border, padding. That's a really quick way uh, to edit those attributes within the browser. Again, you can't save any of this within the browser without changing some, some settings. Um, let's inspect element of this cat photo. Let's have it have a border of 10 pixels. Let's just see what happens there. Didn't save. Border 10. Margin. Let's try margin. 100 on the top. So here it was the top number. If I do it on the left hand side, 100. It's there. Right hand side, 100. Bottom, 100. So really all I'm doing is it's editing it in real time, which is super cool. Um, padding is the same. You can do this for anything that you're looking at on the web page. You can edit it all here. It is important to remember that cascading as far as what takes precedence. So if there's a class that has an attribute that is applied, that's still going to be more important to the browser than if you just apply it to all divs. If there's a div class of top box and that has a certain color, that's going to override any other just general div things. That's the same as regular CSS. Those rules still apply here. So now, finally, we're going to erase all of our amazing efforts here. If we refresh, everything goes back to normal. So that's the elements page. Have fun playing around.